Now we're going to look at the Health and Safety at Works Act. By the end of this section, I would like you all to be able to identify who the Health and Safety at Works Act applies to and who could be prosecuted if it is breached. Explain what employers and employees need to do to meet the requirements of the regs. And I would also like you to write up to 200 words, briefly outlining what the Health and Safety at Works Act covers. And we'll do that as part of a, a quiz at the end. The Health and Safety at Works Act is the original safety legislation. It's the first piece of safety legislation produced in the UK, one of the first in the world. All of the safety le legislation that we discuss in this module is based on and comes from the Health and Safety at Works Act. It essentially expands on uh, information that's already in the Health and Safety at Works Act. It's an, an incredibly comprehensive piece of legislation. The Health and Safety at Works Act is applicable to all places of work and it applies to employers and employees. Well, what are the employees' responsibilities? The, employee, the employees need to make sure that they don't, don't put themselves at risk. They need to consider situations sensibly and make sure that they don't put either themselves or their workmates at risk by, by their own actions. They mustn't misuse anything that's been provided for their safety. And they must cooperate with the employer on safety to help, to help them to meet their statutory obligations. Use all tools provided sensibly and safely, and your own tools as well for that matter. This is an important one. If you spot anything that might be a hazard, make sure that you tell your employer. Let them know, because it potentially somebody could be harmed by that in the future. And also, you should attend all safety training that's been provided by your employer and take them seriously. Your employer's responsibilities are to ensure the health, safety and welfare of all people at work. This would mean that they need to provide and maintain a safe working environment, ensure safe access and egress or exit from your place of work, and provide safe machines, equipment and methods of work. Methods of work might include manual handling, uh, and they need to make sure that people are trained appropriately in, in that if, if it's a requirement of the job and they provide machinery where, where necessary. They need to make sure that they provide training. People need to know how to carry out their job safely and it's the employer's responsibility to provide that training. Where a trade union representative is appointed, the employer must also discuss with them matters concerning safety. And your employer has a legal responsibility to provide personal protective equipment to all employees for when, when it's required. Personal protective equipment could be things like goggles, safety helmets, ear defenders, overalls, safety boots, um, any situation where you might need protective equipment, it is your employer's responsibility to provide it free of charge. 
They also need to have a safety policy. Any company that, that employs more than five people must have a safety policy. Any company that employs more than five people must record the risk assessments, write down risk assessments, and that's one of the things that we're going to look at in the next section. So the safety policy. As stated, if an employer employs more than five people, uh, they must have a written health and safety policy. And essentially, it should include an outline of what their intentions are with regards to safety. It would also include a responsibilities section. The responsibilities section sets out who is responsible for carrying out specific actions. Over the overall responsibility in any company lies with the person at the at the head of the company. In some businesses, that might be the owner. Uh, in other businesses, it might be the the chief operating office officer, the CEO. It would also include an arrangement section, and that sets out exactly how they would achieve what their plans are to achieve their goals that they've set out in the uh, general policy. And now, there's another quiz for you guys to do. Good luck.